I got up, I put the blunt down, and this was in 2020, three years later, after my dad passed and my, my son was born, basically two and a half years later, because the beginning of 2020, right before the pandemic, I went to my mom's house. I said, mom, I want to go to church tomorrow. She said, okay. So I took her to my friend's church. Then I went to my my the church I grew up at with her. And then she was like, okay, I'm, um, I got to stop by Hy-Vee to get some groceries. I said, okay. So we went to Hy-Vee and we went there and my mom was like, your son is here and the mother of your child is here. They're, they're in the aisle over there. I said, what? The thing that struck me, it was this shift that took place in me because not only did I just go to church and I received some words that day, the sermons were on point, the prayers were on point. I just had this, this, this heart posture. Like I really, I'm really paying attention because I really, I really want God and I'm really searching after God in the same day the same day that I went to go see God, I ran into my son and I was seeking God to be in my son's life. I was seeking God to break the addiction of smoking so I could be a good father. That's all I wanted from the Lord. I just wanted to be sober and and I wanted to raise my son. I, I seen my son at the grocery store that same day and I live in a small town. And in this small town, as oddly as it is, when you go to the grocery store, you don't just always run into people that you know i mean you see people you know but it wasn't a, i just knew it wasn't a coincidence i knew that this was a, a god moment like i i can't nobody tell me i got my mindset on god i'm praying for god and, and then boom here's my son he's his grandma said do you know who that is i said it's dad he was like dad 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 wow wow dad dad and he was mind blown because he remembered I was, the, I was there changing his diapers. I was there feeding him a bottle. I was there playing, doing the shapes and colors with him. And then I disappear for seven months. And then I come back in the picture and he's running and talking. And like, he's at that phase of like, he remembered me though. And it, it, it broke my heart. It's soft, like broke my heart in a good way. It softened my heart. Like I had this determination in this new, like I can, I can become a good dad. I can be in his life. I can do it because now I got God. So my mom said, Hey, I'm about to go to another church. I'm about to drop you off. I said, no, if you're going to a third church today, I'm coming. And I made a decision in my heart that if anybody ever invites me to church, I'm going to go. Yeah. Um, I quit smoking that, that, that day before I went to the church, I never, I to today. I never touched another blunt again. Uh, that Jesus has broke that chain. There's, I'm not addicted to marijuana. And that was, that was one of the main thing that was binding me and, and holding me down. Um, I made a decision to be celibate since that day. Um, I began to not drink. I began to go to church after church after church. I started reading books. Uh, the pastor told me to read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and different things. So I started reading the word of God. Uh, I picked, picked up this one book and this guy, he had, his, he had his biography in it about how he would pray on his knees in the morning and pray on his knees at night. So I started to do that. I started to go to Planet Fitness and work out. So now I'm building these healthy habits. I drink water. I read my Bible. I go to church. And that became my life. Uh, and, I, and I would just pray, 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 pray. And I started to hear the voice of God more. And he began to talk to me. And out of nowhere, I received joy. I, I literally, all 2020, I woke up with a smile on my face. And I was just so happy. And the pandemic hit. And I didn't notice. I didn't even know people were wearing masks. And stores were shut down. I didn't know any of that. was. I, I was aware but I didn't notice because I was so in his presence and I was just so in love with Jesus that I, that I didn't even care about that stuff. Well, here's the shift. I made a Facebook post because even though I was pursuing Jesus, things was trying to slow me down from getting to church. People would say, read your Bible every day. If something's trying to stop you from the church, that's when you know you need to be there. And I start going and I start hearing testimonies from different people and prayers started to come to pass because I made a Facebook post like, the enemy is trying to is trying to kill my faith because I just lost all my money. It wasn't a lot. I had sixty dollars to my name, <laughs> but I lost my money trying to give offering in the plate at church. I believe I reached in my pocket, couldn't find the rest of my money, and I wanted to be frustrated. But I was like, man, I'm just excited. I'm happy. I got God, and um, I made a Facebook post, and this drummer from another church seen it, and he said, "Hey man, come to my church." Well, I came. I got picked up by the youth pastor. His name is Breon which is like my best friend now, my brother in Christ. But he picked me up and he was the same age as me. So my other church, I don't know if I know, mentioned this, but my other church was all people that were my mom's age. 
and all people that were my grandma's age and there were no no young adults like myself so when I got there at this new church every almost everybody was like my age and this is a pandemic going on y'all don't and it's like I, I didn't even know young young the younger generation still went to church now I'm 30 now at the time I was 28 so 18 year olds 20 year olds 24 year olds 28 year old young people the pastor is young he's 35 like and it's like this young fresh new look like everybody dressed like how I dress and it's like everybody's praising and they worshiping and they they just love God and it's like wow this I felt I felt welcome and I began to praise and worship and I began to get discipled because I'm looking around like so unashamed of the gospel and they begin to put me on different stuff like hey check out Brian T you could listen to Christian rap I'm like what because all I ever heard of was Lecrae. I never heard Christian rap before. Uh, I never heard Lecrae before. I just heard of him from my mentor, Chris. So now I just got this new, new attitude. Like, wow, like I can do it, man. I got brothers and sisters in Christ, man. We going hard for the kingdom. We about to win souls. And um, I got baptized. And when I got baptized, I got filled with the Holy Spirit. I just was excited. I started to spread the gospel all on my social media page. And... I just was so on fire for the Lord. And I remember eight, eight some years ago, back, back when I was, wasn't living for him, he said Christian rap. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm never doing music again. Cause I'm a secular artist. I stopped. I gave it all up. And he said, no, the same way you felt that your son wasn't in your life for seven months. That's how I felt when you wasn't in my life for all of this, for all of that time. And I was like, you love me that much? Wow. And he said, you can't give up. You can't give up music. You can't give up. You can't give up something I gave to you. And I received it as like, you did all that music for the kingdom of darkness. Now it's time to do music in the kingdom of, of God. Now it's time to glorify me. And, and, and even more, you're the vessel. I'm the rapper. Amen. God is God is the artist. He's the headliner. I'm just a vessel being able to spread what he give with, with the creativeness that he puts into me. I can give it out. And it, and it gave me a new perspective. Like I used to rap for me and find my identity in the rap, but now my identity is in Jesus Christ. And now I'm, I'm, I'm pointing people to him. Let's, now this is, this is towards the end of my testimony, just for those that's listening. That was a mouthful, but this is the end of my testimony because that was 2020. 